Hey, welcome to the channel. Well, if you're like me, you've been playing Tears of the Kingdom for the past several weeks, and you've probably beaten the game and are wrapping up the last few shrines and side missions, uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. There's going to be no spoilers. This is going to be Breath of the Wild talking about that. I know it's been several years since that, but Jack Pacific has released some new Breath of the Wild figures, uh, timed with the release of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, surprise to us, we never saw the announcement for it. Kind of caught us off guard, and uh, I posted that picture a couple weeks ago. You guys probably saw that. I uh, don't have any packaging to show you because these got opened by accident or intentionally if somebody wanted them. Uh, so there wasn't much to it. You can see in the picture here, it's just a bubble over this card with Link from Breath of the Wild there. And on the back, they just kind of have the characters. And I'll give you a you know, blow up of this over here. But the characters with a little bio on the character, uh, just pointing out the articulation, 20 points of articulation. This one comes with a Sheikah Slate. Uh, same with the Link here. Another 20 points of articulation, and he comes with the Soldier's Broadsword, which was one of the most common weapons in the game, so that makes sense. <laughs> it would have been nice if they included him with the Master Sword, um, but not too much divergence. There was a Breath of the Wild figure several years ago. Uh, the packaging was like this. I kind of liked it a little bit more because it had that contour to, to Link here. Instead of just having him on the card back, he was part of the card back, so that was kind of neat. These were 2017, so these came out around the release of Breath of the Wild. Uh, and it was this was the only figure, and I'll show him to you guys in a second so you can see how he compares to the other ones. He came with an ancient arrow and a bow and a Sheikah Slate and a quiver. A lot more accessories, <laughs> but uh, there's some big differences in there. But uh, let's start with the figures here. Uh, these I can show you in a 360. Uh, so you see Link here in his uh, Tunic of Memories. And uh, he has a slot in the side for the Sheikah Slate, so if you wanted to, you could mount it on his hip, so that makes sense there. Um, you could see some nice layering with this leather uh, cross guard, or uh, not a cross guard, but uh, uh, bandolier going across him here. Uh, it's not one piece like the original figure was. Of course, he's got that pouch in the back where everything shrinks down really tiny to fit inside of there. Uh, no quiver, uh, nothing else, no shield with this guy. Um, he has a couple more bits of his costume here on his arm, like this uh, leather uh, guard. Uh, but other than that, he's just got his Hylian trousers on. Uh, he has the, the tunic draped over a little bit. That's not one piece there. And then, uh, I mean, that's it. You can see his headband and his earrings. But um, I, I, overall, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's got his likeness, uh, likeness of length there. A lot of articulation, uh, double elbows, the wrists articulate, and there's also additional articulation in the hand to go back and forth. The shoulders up and down, and they're on a ball joint as well. Uh, the head is on a ball, so that moves, and it also side to, to side to side. There's another joint in there, but uh, on the ball, it just works like a ball joint does. Uh, it turns at the waist, no ab articulation. Uh, the thighs, there's an upper part where you could twist the thigh here. Uh, of course, it moves back and forward, left and right, and then uh, you have double knee, and then you have ankle, and then you have toe articulation, which could be a double-edged sword, because sometimes it's hard to get that balance point, because those toes will move on you. But uh, he does have toe articulation, so a lot of articulation on this guy. Uh, like the Soldier's Broadsword, it's a new weapon for them to introduce into their figure line. I'll show you the previous weapons on previous Zelda figures. And uh, yeah, I, like I said, one of the most common swords you come across, so naturally it would be featured with Link. Uh, even in the new game, it's everywhere, the Soldier's Broadsword. Uh, so then we have Zelda. Uh, this is all new. They never did a Zelda figure before. So you can see her here in her standard garb, uh, and she comes with a much larger uh, Sheikah Slate than they came with the original figure. Uh, this one could fit on her um, belt on the uh, behind her. There's a little hook there to, to latch it onto. Uh, some nice layering on the costume here. Uh, nice detail with the boots. Um, some stitching you can see on it. I mean, they put a lot of detail into this character, which is nice because it's the first time we get a Zelda figure, um, and from Breath of the Wild at least. Uh, so she got a pouch on the one side. She didn't really do much other than get taken, uh, sort of taken uh, hostage for a uh, hundred years and then appear. And then, uh, um, yeah, so she's got some steel toe boots essentially there, but those articulate as well. Same articulation as Link. I don't need to go over that again. Uh, just this one accessory. It's nice that she has an accessory. I'm going to call this post game Zelda for Breath of the Wild at the end. Um, I mean, this isn't a spoiler now. It's been like what, five, uh, six years? Uh, at the end, she's walking around in this this outfit, and she has the Sheikah Slate, so I'm going to call this post-game Zelda. I want to call this post-game Link, but 
doesn't have the Master Sword or anything else, but you could say they're post-game Zelda and Link essentially walking around like this. So a nice transition to Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, but that is essentially Zelda. She also has some nice detailing on the hair. You guys probably saw that in the 360. So uh, pretty nice uh, overall. Surprised to get these two, uh, but welcome. Welcome additional Zelda figures. It's been a while since they've done any Zelda figures in the line. I believe 2017 was the last time they'd done a Zelda figure, and everything else since then has been Mario. Um, yeah, pretty much Mario <laughs> focus, which I don't... I don't feel bad about it. I love the Mario characters. They do a great job with the Mario characters, but it's nice to see some more Zelda love and hopefully we'll get some more following that. So why don't I show you the previous Breath of the Wild uh, figure and we'll take a look at the other Zelda figures and accessories as well. Okay, well, we got all our Zelda figures here. Uh, we started, we have Link over here from Skyward Sword. We have my favorite Wind Waker line, which uh, had two different links, one with the shield and sword, one with the wand. Uh, this great six inch Ganondorf just looks amazing. I love him. I wish he came with the swords, but he didn't. Uh, we have, of course, from Majora's Mask, we have the Skull Kid with the Majora's Mask on, the little Deku Link looking all bummed <laughs> that he got turned into a Deku uh, a shrub person, whatever. And uh, then we have the uh, Ocarina of Time collection. So we have the um, standard Link, we have the Link with the Fire Tunic, they never made Link with the Water Tunic. We have Dark Link. Uh, we have Sheik with the uh, uh, the harp, and then we have Zelda with the Ocarina of Time. So kind of cool that they did most in this line. I wish they, they kind of rounded it out into the Ganondorf. That would have been amazing. Uh, and then we have the Link I was talking about from the Breath of the Wild. So this Link came with a bunch more accessories. He had a bow with a little string in there. He had an ancient arrow. He had a Sheikah slate much smaller than the one uh, Zelda's coming with in the new line. And then he had this quiver with arrows here as well. So uh, a lot more accessories on this guy, but you notice the height difference. Um, I measured them out. It's only about a half inch difference. You could see here side by side, but it's sort of like a half inch in all directions. They made them bulkier. Uh, they made them uh, have more articulation. Uh, they made them a lot sturdier. And I think he just looks a thousand times better. A lot more definition in the character, in the hair, in the outfit. It's now layered that bandolier across the chest is one piece on the original it's two pieces or it's yeah it's its own piece now layered on top in this one uh, everything just kind of sticks out better paint job is better uh, far superior figure uh, than the original um, so kind of glad they made a better one <laughs> and I hope they go through and, and keep this as sort of the new scale uh, Nintendo's world and Nintendo they've always had the, the two two and a half inch scale um, which he's actually from he's not from this four inch scale but I think he fits perfectly in this scale <laughs> because uh, he was shrunk down anyway uh, and then they have the four inch scale and uh, or I guess four and a half in Link's case here but now they're up to a five inch and I think it just works a lot better you could do a lot more with articulation and detail and I hope they keep this scale moving forward. It just looks a lot better than what we've had in the past. Um, it would be great to get some of these out again or add to this line. It's, you know, Zelda is massively popular, but there have been very few figures uh, from uh, from Jax, or I mean, who holds the license right now for these figures. So you're kind of limited to the more higher end ones. Uh, so it'd be nice to get more of these out again. Hopefully the popularity of Tears of the Kingdom will rejuvenate that. We'll see this line come out again. Um, but it'd be nice to have some monsters. I mean, there was a Bokoblin, but he was in the two and a half inch line, so he was kind of small. Uh, we'd want to get some monsters in a, a taller size. So the six inch, like Ganondorf here, um, have more monsters that size or Link size even. I mean, he's, there's some Link size monsters or maybe a Moblin that's this tall, something like that. Um, just mix it up. Love to get a Gliok. Uh, classic Zelda would be nice too. Um, they actually did a classic Zelda, so I don't have all the Zeldas here. There's an 8-bit Link, but he's very flat. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. He just kind of stands there, and he looks like the Link from the original um, Legend of Zelda. So I have that one too, but he's not really an action figure. He's just kind of a, a stand-in. So it'd be nice to see um, something from all the games to get more, more of the games in here. I love Breath of the Wild. It'd be nice they built it out with the King of Red Lions boat. Uh, you know, just some more of the beloved classics we all have here uh, to, to see these rejuvenated, to see these uh, build out again would be really nice. Um, you know, we can do dungeon building, whatever, but it'd be great to get more figures. But for now, these are really cool. These are out right now. Celebrate Tears of the Kingdom because uh, costumes are, are, you know, crossing over, weapons are crossing over. It's fine. Uh, so you can pick these up. I saw them at Walmart. They're probably going to be on shelves everywhere. I don't think they're a Walmart exclusive, so you should be able to find them at Target, too. 
Uh, so just keep your eyes out there. They might pop up on fan channels. I didn't see them yet. Uh, if I find any, I'll put a link up. But you can pick them up now. I think they're about uh, somewhere between $10 and $12, depending on where you get them. Um, so it's you know still less than some of the Marvel Legends or Black Series or anything like that. Uh, so a ton of 20 points of articulation. Pretty good. You're getting accessory, um, and you're getting adventure. <laughs> so <laughs> check them out. Um, if you can, pick them up. I think they're really cool. Uh, the Zelda, they did a great job. If I had a vote between the two, I think Zelda just looks a little bit more detailed than Link. So, uh, and it's nice to finally get her in the line. So it's nice to have that. Uh, that's all for now. Just wanted to show you guys some things we discover sometime to share it with you. Uh, to let you make that decision whether or not you want to grab it or maybe you didn't even know it existed. So here it is. Uh, so that's all for now. We'll probably have more look at Jack's products. We always go to their panel at SDCC. So we'll hopefully get an insight into upcoming um, product releases that we can share with you then. Uh, so until then, uh, like, subscribe, and follow. Check back for more news, and we'll see you guys next time.